Hi, I'm Amy Stewart. I'm a writer and an artist and I'm taking your questions. So if you have a question, put it in the comments below. I'll try to answer it in another video and um, please subscribe, stay in touch. Okay, um, oh, somebody asks about, uh, well, it's actually kind of a bunch of questions, but it has to do with what does it take to write a successful book proposal and or a query letter. So this is probably more than I can answer in a quick video, but let me tell you what, uh, let me tell you what I think is super important that I think doesn't get mentioned enough. So um, here's what we're talking about. A book proposal is usually a, maybe it's a 10 to 20 page document that outlines the book that you're planning to write. Um, and you're sending that off to agents or then to editors in the hope that somebody's going to give you a, a contract to actually write the book. Whereas a query letter comes first. A query letter is a way to reach out to an agent or maybe an editor and say, hey, here's what I've got. Would you like to see it? And what you've got might be a book proposal or it might be um, a finished manuscript that you're, that you're shopping around. So let's talk about query letters first. The crucial thing for me in a query letter is, first of all, you need to respect the time of the person reading it. So it can't be a 10 page query letter. That's a book proposal. It needs to be, you know, one page. It needs to be a few paragraphs. Um, say right up front why you're reaching out to them in particular about this book. Be sure you have that one sentence sort of elevator pitch description of the book. And if you don't have that, or you're not sure of that, or you're not happy with it, my suggestion is go to the New York Times bestseller list and look at the little one sentence descriptions that they put on the bestseller list under each book. That's the, the kind of line you're looking for. It's also important right up front in your query letter that you say what kind of book it is. Is it a self-help book? Is it a, is it a parenting memoir? Is it historical fiction? You gotta be real clear on what category your book falls into and be able to come right out and say that and be sure that you've written the book or the book proposal that backs that up. The other thing though about your query letter is I believe that it's very helpful if your query letter is in the tone of voice, the language, that the book itself is in. So you need to put your best writing into this and it needs to have a voice. It needs to have a spirit to it. Now, of course, if you're writing sort of a Dickensian novel set in, I don't know, London 150 years ago, maybe it would look a little gimmicky for your query letter to be written in that same language, but um, it needs to be really great language. Uh, uh, this is not the time for an ordinary business email really work on it. Don't be obnoxious about it. Don't be overly showy about it. But if it's supposed to be a lighthearted, funny uh, memoir, then you got to be able to be lighthearted and funny in your communications with an agent or an editor. So, uh, and the same goes for the book proposal itself. You know, one thing I think a lot of authors don't realize is, especially when you're looking at nonfiction books, which is usually when we have to write a book proposal, is that the, um, the introduction or the preface to the book is very often just a mildly reworked version of the book proposal. <laughs> so if you go and look at books that are similar to yours and read those introductions or those prefaces, I want you to know that what you're probably reading is a thinly disguised, somewhat reworked book proposal. And that's really helpful because you're actually looking at a lot of authors different book proposals when you do that. So uh, what that means is that definitely for your book proposal, it needs to be in the voice that the book is written in not in some kind of businessy language, not in just the everyday language that you write emails in. It needs to sound like how the book sounds. Uh, it needs to be the best language you can come up with. It needs to, everything about it needs to be perfect in terms of uh, uh, grammar, punctuation, spelling. All, there need to be no mistakes in this thing. It needs to feel very complete and be so great that, you know, editors and agents are actually gonna get excited about it. Like the book proposal itself, needs to be fun to read. It needs to be engaging. It needs to be captivating. It needs to be all the things your book is going to be. So uh, I know there's a lot more information out there about specifically what needs to go in a book proposal and how to put those pieces together. And that's maybe beyond the scope of my quick little answer here. But that's the piece that I really want to uh, leave you with is just make sure that it's um, that it's incredible writing and, uh, and, and that you really think of it as being as good as the book itself is gonna be. Okay, if you have more questions about that or anything else, 
post them in the comments. Feel free to subscribe. Um, I'll answer as many questions as I can in future videos. And also come find me online. I have a website. I send out a newsletter. I'm on social media. I teach some classes uh, online in uh, art and writing. And I would love to stay in touch. Thank you.